Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Big Mike, and I'm back for another YouTube video. And today, I'm gonna be talking to you about the word "welcome" and what it means. But first, before I talk about the word "welcome" and what it means, I'm gonna read a little scripture for you all. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into the word. The reading of the word, guys. Let's dig into some meat right here. First of all, before I read it to you, I'm going to be reading Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God showed how much he loved us by having Christ die for us, even though we were sinners. <clears throat> Guys, did you hear that? That verse said, Romans 5, 8 said, Christ showed us how much he loved us when he died for us, when we were sinners. Guys, when we were sinners, he died for us. He loved us. And there's no there's no true way to show somebody you love them unless you die. I'm not saying unless you die for them, but guys, that's true sacrifice is when you take and you give up your life. That's what Jesus Christ did for us, guys. He bled and he died on that cross for me and for you. And I believe if he had it to do over, he would, he'd do it again. God is love and love is sacrifice. If you truly love somebody, you'll sacrifice everything you got for them, guys. And I, he did that. He gave up everything he had. Not only that, he gave up his own life. He stretched his arms out on Calvary's hill and died for us. And guys, I don't know. I just feel encouraged. I feel encouraged to tell y'all this. If you don't know, if you don't know Jesus, I'm going to tell y'all is what you need to do is say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Because he died for you, guys. I just read you that scripture right there. He died for you. We're all sinners. I'm not saying we're all sinners right now. We've all been a sinner. We all mess up. We all fall short of the glory of God. We're all human. I'm not saying... We're a sinner right now, but when you get saved, all your sins go in the past. Jesus washes from white as snow. One drop of blood, guys, covers it all. That's how awesome he is. And guys, I I feel encouraged. If you're watching this video and you don't know Jesus, ask him into your heart. Say, Jesus, I messed up. I'm a sinner. I need you to come into my life. Jesus... I repent and I ask you to come into my life because I need you and I love you and you're awesome. And I'm a sinner and I repent and I want you to be my friend and I want you to be my Lord. I want you in my life and I want you in my heart. I want to have and hold you. You're my King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You're not only the Alpha, you're the Omega. You're not only the beginning, you're the end. And I want to stick this thing out, guys. I want to run it to the end. And in life, guys, that's what we got to do. I'm not saying our life should be a race, but when you're with Jesus, it's right here, guys, in the heart. War at war every single day. Not physical boom boom shoot them up war. War at war. Spiritual war right here with the with with power.
powers and prince of powers with evil spirits and war between good and evil. Jesus, guys, he should be our everything. And just like my pastor said Sunday night, he said, uh, we need to acknowledge Jesus more. Don't even talk about the devil. The devils, the devils don't deserve any credit at all. Jesus deserves everything, guys, because he gave everything. He even gave his life for us. We can't physically fathom. If you've seen that movie, The Passion of the Christ, it don't even amount to probably what Jesus actually looked like when they got done with him. Jesus, when they took the cat of nine tails and they smacked it across his back and ripped it off. Passion of Christ shows it just ripping the skin off. Guys, I believe when it ripped off, it ripped meat and all. They physically brutal that man. They physically brutal our Lord and Savior. They physically, I hate to say it, guys, they not only physically hurt him in body, but I believe Jesus was hurting right here. And why I believe that is. Because at that time, Jesus' his own father couldn't look down, couldn't look down on his side, guys. He had to take all the sin of the world upon him. Whoever died on the cross, he had to take all the sin upon him. That's why the world turned black. And that's bad when your own father don't even want to look at you. And he was perfect and blameless of anything. He couldn't be if Jesus Christ went to court, Jesus Christ would be innocent of any and all wrongdoings, guys. Jesus Christ says this. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Romans 5, 8, guys. Jesus Christ died for us to show, to show how much, to show how much he loved us. And that, can you imagine, I'm not saying, imagine like, you probably can't actually imagine how he felt, but in your life, have you ever not had a single friend at all. Not had anybody around. Nobody to ever talk to you. Nobody. Guys, when we was all sinners, Jesus could have called 10,000 angels. Took him off to heaven. I hate to say it, guys. Jesus didn't have to die for me and for you. But he did because he loved us. And if you don't know him, I encourage you to ask him into your heart. Tell him that you messed up. Tell him what you've done wrong. Tell him you love him. Tell him you want him to be your best friend. Tell him you give him your heart. Tell him you give him your soul, your mind, your spirit. From top to from head to toe, you're no longer whatever your name is. You call it out. You say, my name is no longer. It, my name is yours. My name is property of yours. Like me, I'm going to call it my name's Jesus Christ. Michael, Big Mike is yours. And you, t you tell him you love him. I'm not saying you have a two or three hour prayer. Honey, if you want to pray for two or three days, you want to press in hardcore, you want to do that, I encourage you, if that's what it takes to get you to his throne, you drop to your knees and you tell him you love him. But guys, 
when we start walking a daily walk with Jesus Christ, it's not always going to be a bed of roses. It's not always going to be... It's not always going to be good. We got to keep pressing in, guys. Like I said earlier, life's not a race. We don't run all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm constantly running and going and I could fall over and my legs still be doing that number right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But guys, when we're running life, we're running that race to the finish. We got to go till we get across the finish line. We got to go. We can't give up. We can't give in because sometimes people in life, guys, they give up and they give in. And I'm not going to lie. I'm speaking for myself. Your boy, Big Mike, sometimes feels like giving up and giving in. And we got to go, just like going, you got to walk the stairs until you get to the top. One step at a time. You take a step, another step, another step, another step, till you get to the top and you're looking down. And sometimes when you're at the top of your hill in your life, you can look down and be like, wow. It's awesome what Jesus done to me. And when you're in your low valley, sometimes you don't feel like going on. Sometimes you don't feel like giving in. You feel like giving in. And then you got to keep pressing in, guys. You can't give up. But I'm about to get into it and show y'all what this means right here. So let's get into it. The word welcome, W-E-L-C-O-M-E, -E, means welcome, guys. It's like, it's like you see on your front door map. When you can go into people's houses, it means welcome. It means Jesus is saying, welcome, come on into our hearts. Welcome, you can come in, you can come home, my child. That's exactly what it means. So let's get into it. Look at that for a second, guys. Ponder on that. We come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I want to pray right now. I pray that every single person watching this video, we come, will come, and we come. We come, Lord Jesus, to you humbly. And I pray over every soul that's watching this video. I pray, I pray it convicts their spirit. I pray that they have a changing of their mind, changing of their spirit, body, and soul when they watch this video. I hope they come to know the cross, know you, know how you bled and died. In Romans 5, 8, how you died when you had nobody at all. When you had nobody... That, even your own father turned against you. The world was upon your shoulders and you still finished it. You still got the job done. And you're the only person that could ever do that, Jesus. It's all about the cross right there, guys. We come. And before, in the closing of this video, I really hope not only... We come, but I hope, pray, you come. Whoever's watching this video, I can care less if you like and subscribe. I can care less if you take and you like my videos or you watch my videos. But guys, if you watch this video, what matters the most before you die and leave this earth, I hope, pray, give your heart to Jesus. So have a good day, guys. I'm out. It's your boy, Big Mike. Peace.